What's up, Pyro Nation? In between breaks, waiting for uh game to start. I'm gonna got a question. I was curious to see how do you guys save for your fireworks? Like when you're going shopping, uh do you save allowance up for guys that have you know jobs right now? Do you uh you know do you save change? Uh what do you do? Me, what I'd like to do is this container the wife got me, it's a jug container. I'm gonna use that treat container down there since this one's almost full now. Uh, <clears throat> I like to do is I don't spend my ones or fives and uh, my change. So what I like to do every day, every week, whatever happens, I uh, throw it all in here and then, you know, around April, May, break it all apart and you do your fireworks shopping for your stash or whatever you want to do. So, what do you guys do? How do you do it? I've heard some people have a little savings guide. They save, you know, I heard if you do like a dollar a week, and then the next week you do two dollars, and the following week you do four dollars, and the following week you do eight, uh, that within, you know, 52 weeks, you hit like fourteen hundred dollars, like thirteen hundred some dollars. It's almost fourteen hundred bucks, like thirteen seventy five. Uh, what do you guys do? This is what I do. I like to stay all my change together, say what I can, and see uh, what happens. Last year when I broke the containers apart, I had some different ones. I was using half gallon orange juice containers. I had like $2,200. Uh, I usually start this around August, August, September. We're in January now. I got that one full. So hopefully I can get that close to being full and we'll see what I have by the end of May, beginning of May. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle of May. I usually break it apart. But alright guys, just curious to see what you guys do to save for your fireworks. You know, how you guys do it. But I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will uh, talk to you later. This is your boy Rob. Peace out, Pyro Nation.